all over behind the counter, sitting canned goods on a shelf. He didn't hear me when I came in. Of course, I was barefooted and didn't make any more noise than a lizard walking on a rail fence. I eased right up behind him and said in a voice much too loud, Grandpa, rally tree the monkey. Corbin, remember in the story, when we talked at the very beginning of the story, we find out that there, there are a number of monkeys that Jay Berry is going to have to catch, catch, right? The largest monkey. What was the reward for that, that large monkey? Do you remember the dollar amount? One hundred dollars. Would you all agree with that? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. I saw my old grandpa flinch, just about like I always did when I watched Dab his fiery little dagger in me. He took his hand. He took his time about turning it around, ducking his head. He looked at me over his glasses. Then he looked at Rowdy. Rowdy was just sitting. He did not need a gun. No, because basically he wanted those things just, just for what I said. They were just wants. Uh, yeah, but you know, he, my son, for example, my son said to me last summer, "Mom, I need a new pair of shoes," and that was true. He needed a new pair of shoes, but the shoes that he wanted cost a hundred and. What was it? $20. Something like that, okay? Now, there were some other options he could have taken. He could have bought a less expensive pair of shoes because of the fact that he needed uh, shoes. But, you know, he needed the shoes because, face it, we wear shoes every day, right? That was a true, that was a necessity. Uh, him having to pay the hundred and something dollars, that was just something that he just really wanted to do. And when he earned his own money, yes, he was allowed to do that. So you gotta get you gotta get it in your mind. Uh, you you need clothes, you need food, you need shelter. Yes. Thank you. 